Lloyd Stanley Perrin was born at King Edward Memorial Hospital in Perth, Western Australia on the 2nd of November 1922. Today, Mr Perrin is owner and chairman of the Perrin Group of Companies with a property portfolio valued in excess of $3 billion. Stan's Perth-based organisation has grown rapidly over the years, thanks in part to a series of well-timed, savvy business decisions and diverse commercial interests that have continually evolved with the times. Well, when Stan Perrin started in his 20 years uh, sort of contracting business uh, uh, around mining, uh, Perth was a pretty sleepy place. Um, so he has been part of the emergence of Perth uh, through the 1960s, uh, and obviously now into a, a very vibrant city uh, and very closely connected with Asia. He's what might be called the archetypal self-made man. Started his own business in earth moving at an early age in his early 20s uh, and uh, gradually developed that business until it was ultimately sold to Teese Brothers. In the early 1960s, Stan became the sole distributor for Toyota motor vehicles in Western Australia at a time when Japanese imports were seen as new and untested. Today, that foresight is still paying significant dividends as Toyota has become the largest automotive brand in Australia. Early success in the mining industry led to another timely investment, this time with Hancock and Wright which yielded 15% of the iron ore royalties mined by Hammersley Iron in the Pilbara. The beauty about doing those uh, deals um, was very much, it's a handshake, uh, followed up by, oh yes, we better get a contract organised, but it was always a handshake and, and an enormous amount of trust. Uh, Stan Perrin is uh, one of the most admired and respected business people in Western Australia and over, over many, many years, in fact decades, he has made an enormous contribution to this state. In the 1970s, Stan began to acquire commercial property assets and never looked back. He bought or developed Perth CBD office buildings and suburban shopping centres during this period and considerable land subdivision was undertaken to the north of Perth. By the mid-1980s, this portfolio had expanded to include properties in New South Wales and Victoria. Yeah, I, th I think the parent group should be, uh, should be written up and uh, the Harvard should take a leaf out of their book actually. He has consistently put one foot in front of the other as has his team and they've climbed amazing mountains, uh, very high mountains, uh, just by being resolute and, and focused. Today the Perrin Group wholly owns a diversified institutional style property portfolio comprising 11 major shopping centres, several large office buildings and numerous commercial and industrial properties while working with strategic investment partners such as Westfield, Dexas, Mervac, Federation and the Fraser Group. The one thing about the Perrin Group and Stan himself is he's been incredibly consistent. Um, the only people that I can recall that have left have been those that have just said, Stan, I'm too old and I've got to retire. And he said, even though I'm 90, he said, I'm still buying land that won't be developed for 20 to 30 years. And what I thought is, what an optimist at 90 to be still buying long-term property projects. But I think that's Stan, great optimist, a uh, great uh, passionate Western Australian. Stan is chairman of the Stan Perrin Charitable Foundation which supports over 100 charitable organisations with a focus on children's charities and medical research. The foundation is entirely funded both now and in the future by guaranteed proceeds from the Perrin Group operations. Um, he's a person that doesn't seek recognition. Um, he gets recognition because of the wonderful things that he's done in all facets of his life uh, throughout his career. Stan has been the recipient of numerous awards, including the Order of Australia, Master Entrepreneur of the Year 2001, Citizen of the Year 2002, and the Sir Charles Court Inspiring Leaders Award. The University of Western Australia awarded Stan an honorary degree of Doctor of Letters in March 2009, and Murdoch University also awarded him an honorary degree in August 2010. Stan Perrin is a true Western Australian icon who continues to explore new business frontiers while finding time to give back to the community. Uh, I've only ever heard admiration, respect uh, and what a, what a charming and delightful person he is. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please join the Property Council of Australia in honouring Mr Stan Perrin AM, 2013 inductee to the Australian Property Hall of Fame. Well Stan, uh, it's actually a very uh, large privilege for me to participate in, uh, in this uh, interview and uh, I wish you and Jean and your family uh, every success for the coming years. Uh, I'd very much like to congratulate you Stan, uh, I think you are certainly well fitted uh, for this honour, uh, you well deserve it and uh, I think all Western Australians will implore, applaud the fact that at last uh, you have been recognised for all your many important attributes, not only in property but also in the great charitable work that you've engaged in for many years. Uh, well Stan, can I simply congratulate you on being admitted to uh, the Property Council Hall of Fame. Uh, you have had many accolades over your career and generally you're too modest to, to acknowledge them but I think you should take special pride and uh, in this, this acclamation because you've been a major part of the development of the commercial property and residential property industry in this state and I thank you for that.